my hope for my website at www.ryjian.com is to um, educate the public about the importance of leadership as well as just being um, self-driven, self-motivated and, and just to live life to fullest because I feel like a lot of people, like in a, we live in a world where um, everything is so complicated, everything is so complex, people are just uh, very political. Um, I, I try to make myself very different from everyone, that I'm not following the social trend that everyone is like going after. I, I feel like it's important for us or for me to be a little different, something that, uh, that will spark people interest because I'm different compared to other people who they've actually The thing that I've noticed um, over the past um, few years is everyone always asks me the same question. Why? Why are you like so different? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's kind of funny when people ask me that question because a lot of the people, um, especially like uh, both both boys and girls, like they kind of like wonder why is like Roy Chen not like very um, similar to other guys that are at the same age as I am, and that that's like a good question because. That, that's something that I, I feel like is important because I feel like it's really important for us or for I to be very different and not to follow like um, a specific someone or just try to be someone or try to be something as in order to fit in. And that's, that's one of the things that um, excites me is that is every day like I ask the question, how can I be different? Like why? I, how can I not be like that specific person? Because I don't want to be like another person who's like, oh, you remind me of uh, Michael Jordan or uh, Michael Phelps or, uh, I don't know, Harry Potter or whatever. It's, I feel like it's important um, for people, especially guys, is, is for us to be very different. And that's one thing that I feel like is lacking in our society is that we have so many people um, doing the same thing, we're following a social trend, and we have to like be um, that specific. We have to follow this trend in order to actually um, fit in, and as well as to become um, a specific person that he or she desires to be. So, so, so the point is that I, I feel like it's important for people to um, seek not only to be unique but to be extraordinary extraordinary and to be someone that um, someone that will separate you from other people and that's something that I've always been um, driving something that I'm always seeking um, throughout my lifetime so a lot of people has been wondering so Rory, how many countries have you been traveling uh, or have traveled in over the last six years or so and and it's, it's kind of funny when I look back, like, I think I've traveled it to over, like, 10 different independent countries. And, and I, I've been very blessed and very grateful to have the, this opportunity just to travel around the world, to explore cultures, to meet different people, and just to immerse myself in a community where I feel like uh, I can learn something as, as well as gain something from um, different perspectives that people have in life. And that's... That's something that I've always been excited in terms of um, just traveling and just going to many different places and many different countries around the world. So my favorite country um, right now have, is definitely not just China since I've been in China many times, but I would definitely have to say Thailand. Um, I really enjoy Bangkok because the beach is amazing, the people are amazing, the temple, um, the, and the language. Just, Everything is just so different, so unique that I, I, that just makes me uh, feel very excited just to be in Thailand. And I just love the culture, just the food, just the dynamic, how people um, communicate with other, other people, interact with other people. And, and Thailand is definitely one of my favorite places in terms of um, my top destination of where I like to travel and where I have been so far. So, so. Here in Hong Kong U, I think one of the things that I've noticed um, in Hong Kong U is that people are very shy. Many people are like, 
they're very studious, which is good in a sense, they're very academical, but they tend to be way too studious that they don't understand the importance of um, communicating and meeting another person in the classroom or um, just expressing themselves. Like many Hong Kong people have trouble expressing who they are about their likes, their dislikes, about their interests, about the passion and all that kind of stuff. And, and they're not that expressive compared to us Americans that we're like, we are always like loud, we are crazy, we are uh, we're more expressive, we're able to communicate more e effectively. Um, and that's, that's one thing that I've noticed in terms of the difference between um, setting over at Hong Kong University compared to my undergraduate year at the University of California at Irvine. So, so my vision for this new year in 2011 is is to, of course, finish my master de master degree at the University of Hong Kong, and hopefully pursuing a PhD in um, higher education back in the United States, and hopefully leading towards an academic job that I'm seeking or hoping to fulfill in the long run. I think um, my program that I am with right now over at HKU has taught me a lot about um, has taught me a lot about research, about how important research is in terms of um, enhancing the quality of an institution, and that's that's definitely taught me a lot about why research is, is important. Because I remember back then in the United States when I was an undergraduate at UC Irvine, I was not very passionate about research. Like most undergraduate students, they're not very interested in research, but then, then like I kind of like um, grew out of that and kind of recognized how it's very important to do research as well as to enhance uh, the knowledge of a society that we're living in, and that's kind of like something that I felt very passionate like right now is to do research, and I'm hoping that people will actually like follow uh, my model or just consider research as an important aspect towards their educational career path. In the future, I, I hope to live um, somewhere in the Midwest or in the East Coast. I don't see myself as more of a California type of person. Like, I know everyone loves California because of the weather, because of the sunshine, and there's a lot of bars and clubs and shopping and all that stuff to do during your free time. It's, it's, it's great. I love California, but I, I feel like I want to do I want to explore and experience something different. And I, I see myself um, finding a job in the East Coast or maybe in the Midwest or the Mideast. And um, yeah, just finding some job in a higher education institution um, somewhere in the East Coast rather than the West Coast where I'm very familiar over the last, um, uh, ever since I was born pretty much. So that I've learned um, during my years as an undergraduate is the importance of taking risk. Like I feel like we live in a day day and age, especially here in Hong Kong, is that we we tend to like all, always seek for comfort. We want to be comfortable. We want to feel happy. We want to feel joyful. We want to be. Uh, we don't want to challenge ourselves. And I think that's something that um, that's um, a big struggle for most. Um, people here, especially the youth culture, to actually um, understand as in, in regards to taking risks. Because when I take risks, I feel like I'm challenging myself, and that's where I'm actually growing the most about who I am, what I'm struggling a lot, what are my strengths, as well as my weaknesses. And that's something that I feel like is missing as a core element um, during, um, specific during undergraduate years. So some of my likes that I've uh, enjoyed it uh, over time is definitely I really enjoy um, singing as well as dancing, as, especially as well as acting now. Like I've been doing a lot of major um, acting roles here in Hong Kong University, um, like such as for the, this upcoming semester I'll be playing a big or as they call it the lead role of um, Oscar Wilder. And I'm really excited to uh, perform and do such a uh, big production. But, but in regards to the performing arts, performing arts has definitely been one of my passions. 
I've had a long history in terms of dancing, specifically modern and contemporary dance, as well as ballet. And that's, I feel like the performing arts has enhanced my understanding about who I am as a person, as well as what, what I want to achieve uh, in the long run as well as uh, building my confidence when I'm actually uh, doing interviews, as well as when I'm communicating with friends or family. The performing arts just gives me a new dimension of, or a new identity of who I am. And that's something that I've been uh, very blessed and excited that I have been involved in, in the performing arts um, over the past six years, sp specifically during my um, undergraduate and graduate years. So I think one of the things that, uh, that I've learned over time is that people are just very self-minded here in our world. Like, many people are just, they don't, they're not interested in talking to people, they, they tend to be more isolated, they, they, they tend to be more individualized, and, that, and that's something that I just don't like um, here in the, in, our, in the world that we live in, is how we live and we're, we're always in the mode to seek for power. We're, we always have, feel like there's a need to actually uh, have a higher status or compete with another person in order to fit in. And that's something that I just don't like. I mean, a lot of people think that um, I'm always there, like I'm there, I act like I want power or I'm always um, doing all these different activities as a way to gain higher status or higher title, as they call it. But to be honest, I think that's just all crap, like, I, it's, it's just, our, our world is just always living in a competitive edge that I feel like is misleading, um, misleading many people to assume that we have to be competitive in order to fit in, but that's not something that I'm um, very excited to do, because I don't feel like I need to actually compete with another person in, in order to actually fit in. A lot of people have been asking me this um, question. They've been asking me, Rory, do you have a girlfriend? And, and it, it's funny how when people ask me these questions, like, I, I, I kind of wonder that too. It's like, why, why, are, why do they ask me these questions? I mean, to be honest, I, I've never dated anyone. I've never had a girlfriend. I've never um, sustained a long relationship of any particular someone. And, and that, that's mainly because I, I feel... Um, I feel like I, I have, I want to grow more as a person and I want to actually make an impact to, uh, to our society today by investing more about in my career and investing more in my vision and what I want to achieve instead of investing so much time in um, finding a girlfriend and maintaining that um, relationship. And that, that's something that I feel um, really happy that I'm not... Um, dating anyone, or I haven't been dating anyone actually ever in my life, <laughs> which is quite quite ordinary. But I feel like it's it, it just like excites me because we I have more time to uh, um, do the things that I want to do um, while I'm, I'm still young, as well as to freely um, do different activities that that I wouldn't be able to do if I was in a committed or dedicated relationship. Um, yeah.